Hello? Hello? Gamers? Is that... Oh, uh, 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 Make it weird. Don't make it gay. We'll make it a little gay. That's okay. This is Nalia. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Thank you, everyone who has also reset while we were in the starting soon screen. But thank you. So, gamers, today's a big day. Okay, today's, today's a big fucking day. Because for the last like month, I've been like, I'm gonna get back on my bullshit. I'm gonna get back. Hi there. Welcome back, gamer. I'm gonna get back on my grind. Uh, and you know what? You know what? I am now back on my grind. I quit my job. I took a break. And I will be so real with you. Um, life is great right now. <laughs> like, I feel like I couldn't genuinely say that for a really long time. But I am genuinely, like, I don't know. Maybe it's like the honeymoon phase. But I am genuinely have more energy and am the happiest I have ever been now. Now that their school is done. So... Before we get into the nitty gritty of the sky rims, okay, before we before we rim the sky, okay, um, I did want to tell you guys um, about what we're going to be doing this week, because <laughs> now we're back on our full-time grind, our full-time bullshit, so let me pull it, pull it the fuck up, where did I put it? I literally have my schedule somewhere, but I don't know where the fuck I... Where the fuck am I? Imagine going back to school after finishing as a student. Yeah, dumbest shit I've ever done. You know, I did have someone ask me. I had someone ask me, like, if you had any advice for for new teachers, what would you give them? And my advice? <laughs> don't. <laughs> Just don't. Which, like, okay. I, it's always weird because my little sister, okay, little Evie, wants to be a teacher. She's in college right now to be a teacher. And it's like, can I be so real? It is so hard to not be a hater sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like I told her, I'm like, I, like I, I'm not a hater towards her. I'm like, follow your dreams. I'm like, just this is my experience. Your experience might be might be very different than mine, but that is <laughs> that is my experience. But let's get down to business, okay? So here's the skinny. I forgot to add the picture. Hold on, let me add the picture. Cause my thought was like, okay, Skyrim Sunday is like the great, the great, the big one of all my streams, right? Skyrim Sunday is where we all come together. So I thought I would use Skyrim Sunday as the time to be like, hey guys, check out what we're doing for the week. This is what, this is, there's um, another VTuber I really, really like. Um, and that's like, he does every week as like a, a, um, a week in review. And that's what he does is he like talks about like what he's going to be doing that week you know and i think i think that's nifty i think that's really smart actually so let me see why is it not showing up show me the picture put the picture on the screen you fucking it's not by the picture on the screen okay whatever that's fine but basically can i do it let me just hear image is this the image i want no that is not <laughs> that is not the image i want <laughs> i mean uh, it's a good image, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that's the image I want. Okay, so it looks a little scuffed. It, it looks a little scuffed. But um, you might be thinking, Evie, you just released a cover. You're gonna release another one so soon? Tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. EST, I have another cover premiering of the song Cupid by 5050. It's a K-pop song. Very, very cute. Very, very wholesome. Very mwah, 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 mwah. Um, And then Wednesday, we will be back on our cyberpunk bullshit. I still need to get my mods sorted, but we are going to kiss Panem on the lips. We've found the mods. We've confirmed they work with all the new patches, with the new DLC and shit. I haven't bought the new DLC yet, but we are going to kiss Panem on the lips. We have found the mods so I can be as gay to, as my heart wants me to be then on thursday uh the new chapter of my book is coming out um if you haven't read the first chapter of my book yet my book basically um you know how vtubers have lore for themselves um well i ended up writing my vtuber lore and then i kept writing and writing and then i created a whole fantasy world setting <laughs> 
And then I was like, hey, what if I put my Skyrim OCs in my fantasy world and my other OCs in my fantasy world that my VTubers in and I wrote a book. So I'm writing a fantasy novel right now. And the first chapter, if you do the command exclamation point book, will take you to the Wattpad page where you can read the first chapter. And the second chapter of that is coming out on uh, Thursday, which I'm really excited about. And then Friday, I don't know what we're going to be doing regularly yes, on Friday yet. Runs with guys. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um... Friday, we're going to be uh, drawing my VTuber lore <laughs> that we talked about uh, in Kid Picks. And if you don't know what Kid Picks is, Kid Picks is a very shitty um, children's art game from the early 2000s, early 90s. It's, it's going to be not a good sensory experience, but a sensory experience. <laughs> but without further ado, are we ready to rim the sky? Oh, also, if you type emotes in the chat, they'll now fall on my head. <laughs> I figured I would make some updates to my VTube studio setup and all that jazz um, and give you guys more ways to torment me. So now if you type a little emote in chat, it will give me a concussion for free. So, you know, have fun with that. Enjoy that. But see, I, now I am concussed. Yippee! But welcome in, everybody. So the other thing I did and like, okay, when it comes to VTubing, I'm kind of a boomer. People ask me, they're like, can you try doing this? Can you, what if you try doing this? I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that is okay but here's what yay Jedmir. <laughs> here's what i figured out okay and i don't know if this is gonna work but bear bear with me but basically let me see if i can if i can get this pulled up i i, I came up with a thing i got i got something working so like just watch this for a second we're gonna pull up the game do you know the muffin man i do know the muffin man i do oh eb's dark now what's going on oh Oh, Ryan, thank you so much for the sub! <laughs> Nine months of PlayStation 2s! Congratulations, but welcome, gamer! So, check this shit out. Look at the lighting of my model. Look, 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 look. I'm so fucking immersed. Look how immersed I am. <laughs> I'm in this Skyrim. I'm in, bro. <laughs> Big fan of concussion button. Yeah, don't don't support your VTuber. Fucking kill her in, in Minecraft. But check this shit out. Watch. Watch what happens when I do when I do a spell. Look. Ooh. <laughs> and then like if I do with like a like a purple one, like ooh. Ooh, look how fucking immersive that is. Okay, is it like the most groundbreaking thing on the planet? No, but it made me very, very happy. And even when I fucking turn my menu on, oh, 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 oh. I tried to make it so it didn't move too fast because I don't want to give anyone a seizure. <laughs> so if the lighting is like too intense, like if I, and I don't think I'm gonna be doing like this a whole lot, but if it's too intense, Please let me know, and I will turn it down. <laughs> but I thought it would be cool. So, last time on Dragon Ball Z, on Skyrim Sunday, uh, I almost died. <laughs> I almost broke the game and several quests. We were doing the cause quest line, and it broke. And the way to fix it was something really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't this wasn't literally it literally wasn't even a mod thing. Okay, usually when game shit breaks, it's a mod thing. No. It was fucking base Skyrim being stupid. And it was like I had to like copy and delete a file or like something like that. And I was just like, I didn't feel like doing that. So I kind of console commanded my way through it. Uh, thanks to the help of Sinellian. Shout out to Sinellian. Um, <laughs> but um, now we need to find an Oblivion Gate and wear a set of Mythic Dawn robes. So I guess the first thing we're going to do in our first Skyrim Sunday of 2024 is a fit check. Let's see. We should have the robes. I'm just going to make this easy and do mythic. Okay. Let's uh, peep the fit. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. Oh. Um. Hmm. Oh, my God. The mythic dawn gives you a G-string, too? God damn. Mythic dawn has Victoria's secret money. That's crazy. <laughs> Wait. I want to see it without the hood. Because I kind of... I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Where's the... Is it here? Where's the hood? There's the gloves, the rose, the shoes. Where's the hood? Hood armor. Here, take, get rid of that. Where's the hat? The hat's on there. I don't want the hat on there. Is the robes part of the... Oh, I get it. The robes comes with the hat. Okay, that's cringe. That's cringe. Oh, welcome, Yara. I'm so 
Oh, they, that's really sweet. Whenever people are like, I love Skyrim Sunday. I look forward to Skyrim Sunday every week. That's my streamer. I, I it literally feels, I, I remember one time I read a comment where like, I don't remember what I did, but someone typed in chat. They were like, that's my streamer. And I still think about it from time to time because it made me really happy. <laughs> I don't know, man. I like, I don't know. I just, I want to succeed. And when people think I'm capable of succeeding, it makes me really happy. But I'm glad you're here. So, wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Olivia! Olivia? Lydia! <laughs> God. I. We just started! Girl, get up! What the fuck? Girl, we just. I can't even talk to her! She's still alive. She's breathing. Lydia. You're like, <laughs> still here. Are you fucking? Are you? Are you really? I need you to do something. Your wish is my command. <laughs> is that? I don't think that's. I don't. Why, why did you wait over here? Okay, got it. Like, <laughs> girl, we just started the fucking stream. You can't. Mm-mm. You gotta get up. We got places to be. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry if you want your vacation to last longer, but we gotta go. Okay, we gotta go. So, as implied by what I just said, we're gonna go. I don't know why she fucking did that. I, wait, is she going back? No, Lydia! <laughs> are, I didn't think that. I don't think they are marked as beds, but I guess they must be. Is she going? If she goes back in the fucking coffin, I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay, um, anyway, <laughs> uh, let's go find an Oblivion Gate, just girly thing. So actually, let's kind of take note of all of our quests right now. So we have the cause, which is the Oblivion Gate stuff. We do have lost knowledge, so we need to find a book. Um, we need to, this was the stuff for, I don't remember what this was for, but we'll see. Uh, and we never finished False Scar stuff, because we, the reason we left False Scar, we were doing a lot of False Scar stuff, and the reason we stopped doing False Scar stuff is because we're a baby, and, um, a lot of the enemies were, like, level 42, level 50, level 60, and I'm 19, and Jared don't know how to read, okay? So that's why we were like, let's do some other stuff and try some other, you know, I don't we've ever done the in my time of need quest on stream like literally ever so we'll mark it we'll mark the main quest we'll talk to we'll do you know what whatever we're doing it all because as said before all right um this character is my legacy of the dragonborn playthrough right so basically whatever happens um is the edge of the screen like hold on the screen is like i'm a i'm gonna shit my pants okay do you see how like the edge of the screen is like it's like cut off I hate that. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me just, let me just cha-cha real smooth. Oh, wait, no. Uh, uh, did I fix it? Is it? Okay. Okay. I had to cha-cha real smooth real quick. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> Won't happen again. <laughs> okay. So basically though, um, I'm just marking everything, right? Vanya is my legacy of the Dragonborn character, so she's going to do everything regardless of the morals involved in it, okay? When you're le looking for knowledge, morals go out the window, okay? Albert Einstein, probably not. But anyway, looks like the Snow Elf Shrine is what's closest to us, because that's the thing, is it's first Skyrim Sunday back. I'm happy to be here, but I also haven't taken my ADHD meds today. So I don't want to think too hard. I kind of want to just be like, hmm, this is close. We go here. So we'll go, bam. Bat, bat, bat. Okay, sound good? Sound good. Let's fast travel to Orphan Rock. Uh, am I also deliberately putting off going to, um, going to Riften? Because I don't want to? Yes, I don't want to go to Riften. <laughs> Please don't make me go to Riften. I don't, we already had to go to Markart. What? I've been spotted while fast traveling. Oh, god damn it. Someone's gonna pull up. Hey, 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 hey. What? Huh? Someone's over there? Is that camp over there? It spawned me like right next to a bear trap. They, they've got to see me, right? There's people up there. Oh, shit. What's going on? Did you see that? The lightning bolt from across the fucking... Who are they going... Oh, oh, it's hags. Okay, um, what fucking spell do we need? <laughs> 
I was like, what is that? Who are they fighting? Me, apparently. Okay. All right, well, ladies, uh, let's get moving. Let's get down to business. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, okay, some of these... Yeah, this should... As long as I just don't get hit by anything... Oh, fuck. As long as I don't get hit by anything, uh, this should... This should be an easy fight. Just don't... Oh, fuck. Okay, um... Do I have any potions? Healing. Healing. Okay. Um... God, someone is just slinging out there. Oh, okay. Uh, I need to be careful because if I get hit... Yeah, I think if my ladies just do their thing, we should be... We should be okay. No, don't heal yourself. That's cheating. Only I can do that. Here, let me just... Would you like some... Some fire... Wait, no. Some ice with your... Yeah, there we go. Sure, close enough. Okay, um... Is that everyone? That that should be everyone, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, anything in the bodies? Because I do think I need some bones. We do need... We are out of boners, and we do need to go get our skelly boys back. Because, unfortunately, they died. And that's... We need, we need more boners, okay? We need to raise our boners. And if we don't do that... Actually, where is the closest skeleton gate? Um, because I actually, unironically, do need to raise some boners. Is there any, is there any boner in bo 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 boner, boner, <laughs> are there any lo boner locations <laughs> nearby? God, where are they? Reach bone altar, all the way over there. Guardian stones, Moonstone castle, Moonstone castle. Is there anywhere I can raise my boner army? Tundra homestead, the ritual stone. Gosh, we gotta go all the way over there to raise some boners? God damn. Okay, the resolute, the rift bone altar. God, I don't wanna go. Oh, that's right, I do have a boner shrine spell. I totally forgot about it. Thank you, Aqua. Holy shit. But welcome in, everybody, if I didn't say it before. I'm very excited to be back, as you can tell by the ADHD going crazy. But let's do that. Let's see, here, let me put on a little, cause I know that there should, there, there, were, there were ladies over there and I need their bones. So like, there should be, Where's my... Here we go. I can't see shit, so... Wee. <laughs> so let's do this and see if we can find some women. Um, not for, you know, fun purposes. For murderous purposes. Because I need their bones. Okay, you have no bones. Any bones over... What the... F Is that really necessary? I don't... I don't think that's necessary. Okay. And then over here... Let's see. Da, 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 da. I feel like they came from yeah, cause I came from down, fucking bear trap. I came from down here, so I thought they'd be like over here. Where? Here, there's a woman. Here we go. There's the woman. Okay, left leg, hip bone, left bone. There we go. All right, we have gotten as many bones as we're boning. It seems. Okay. Mama, thank you so much for this. For the 10 months, thank you everyone who has subbed. You all get PlayStation 2s, but welcome in, gamer. Thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate it. So, let where is my bone altar? My bone, where is it? Is it con? Is it a was it a spell or a power? Con skeleton marksman, it might have been a power. No, I think it was a spell actually. I think it was the bone altar thing. Here, all uh, let me just do like altar because I can't read. Conjure altar, that's what it was called. Okay, so let's do that, and it is a power. Oh. That, not like that. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Give me my sons back! Okay, when they say, how do you make a baby, this is how. You summon a big fucking stone table, you press E, and then you choose its gender, okay? Warrior or mage. <laughs> <laughs> that you choose and then you put click the button and then you look at the sky and then you disassociate and 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 then you get a baby ta-da hi baby hello my son hello my son Mwah. Congratulations on being born. Okay, I think this will look a lot better if I do it in um, third person. There we go. You go, you you like, you, you bless up real quick, and then you get a baby, okay? Warrior and mage. There we go. How many, can I get more? Oh, she, are we done? Should be coming. Where is it? Hey! Okay, you spawn behind me. Do I have any more? Let's do another warrior, I think. 
Honestly, I feel like I should probably do mages, but we have no front line, honestly. Literally none. Okay, there's my other skeleton warrior. Mm. This might sound bad, but I'm kind of hesitant to name them. You know what I mean? Because, like, if I name them, then I'm going to get attached to them, right? And, like, not to be a hater, they die so fast. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just being honest, okay? And it's, it's just what happens, okay? That's what happens. Can we get any more boners? Oh, I guess not. Okay. Um. All right. Well, hello, boners. Let's fucking, let's party. All right. Let's see. Find the snow elf shrine. So that should be right over here. Like, literally right in front of us. So come along, my children. Let's go. Hi, Jacob. Welcome in. First TV stream of the year. Let's go. Let's go. First TV stream. And we already got some boners. We are absolutely cruising for a fucking bruising, if I do say so myself. All right. Let's see. Wood Elf Shrine down. Okay. I swear to God, I know how to. I feel very blue right now. But I am really, like I said before, if the, um, if the light stuff is too much, let me know and I can adjust it. I'm very blue right now because it's dark outside. But I'm like blue and green and like all sorts of different colors. Um, can I like just climb over that mountain? No, we have to go. All right, boys, we have to go around the mountain. Come on, around the mountain, around the mountain, bring it around. <laughs> I don't know. I still remember like, do you guys remember your first time playing Skyrim? Because I do. And I don't remember is like, wow, this is so cool. I think the first time I played Skyrim, and this is actually really embarrassing, <laughs> considering Skyrim is like my whole fucking brand. But the first time I played Skyrim, um, I deadass actually played it uh, on release on 11.11. Um, and then I got mad at it and I didn't play it for three months. <laughs> and the reason I got mad at it was because um, I couldn't... Because keep in mind, I'm, I'm 23. So I was... I think actually it was November 11th? I was 10 years old when Skyrim came out because my birthday's in June, right? So... <laughs> Where is the fucking shrine? Where is it? The shrine? Here we go. There we go. The reason I got so mad at Skyrim is because my dumb ass uh, couldn't be hop over a mountain. And I didn't know how to read a map, right? And the, the idea of following the path just didn't come to me. <laughs> like, it was one of those games where I needed my dad to come help me because I didn't know how to follow a map. And I got so mad at Skyrim. I just didn't play it because I couldn't like it was it was to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. That's right. I couldn't get to Bleak Falls Barrow because I had to jump over a mountain and it wouldn't let me. The idea of going around the mountain just did not did not occur to me. Oh, there's the Wisp Mother. Okay. Uh, ooh. she's not gonna take any damage from Frost. I don't think. I mean, I'll try, but yeah, that's a. a whole, I'm like tickling her essentially. Okay. All right, they're going. Go, my children! Um, I can give them the suck. Okay, we'll give them the suck. Ooh, we're not really... She's not really doing damage to me. But I'm not really doing damage to her either. So, uh... We'll call that even, I guess. <laughs> I'm kind of just standing here. If, you know what? I'm kiting. I'm distracting them, and that's that's what matters. Okay, oh my god, she does do damage, though. Can I give her the suck? Can I heal off that? Because I know I can sometimes do damage, but it doesn't heal me. Oh, no, I'm healing. Okay. All right. Here we go. Looks like we're... Are we good? Are we good, babies? Okay, one, two, three. Okay, we're good. We're good. Whole rack of them for 35 quid, which is really good price. Ooh. Yeah, I remember games are like... I don't know. I have like... Games are expensive, but also like as someone who is in a relationship with someone who works in the games industry, I do understand why. But like, I guess like... I feel like it's a double-edged sword because like as gamers... <laughs> As gamers, I feel so like cringe saying that I'm not gonna lie, but like when you're spending like I think it's like you can have both opinions of like games uh, Deserve to be priced so that like developers and the people that work on them can make a living and also You should get your money's worth out of games like Baldur's Gate is the example I always use Baldur's Gate was like $80 on release, but after putting like a hundred hours into it I I don't like regret it at all, you know like Baldur's Gate. Wait, how'd you? Oh, wait, blood gift. I'm not using my suck. Oh, God, I had the wrong suck move. Okay, there we go. But Baldur's Gate's one of those games where it's like, yeah, it was, what was it, 35 or $80? Yeah, and I, I didn't, like, feel upset about it. Like, there are some games. 
where I bought them, and then it's like, I, I regret this, and then I refund them on Steam. <laughs> okay, do not hurt my skelly. Do not. Well, don't hurt me either. No, God damn it, he died already. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. This is why you can't get attached to the skelly boys, okay? This is just their inevitable fate. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just the cold, hard truth, okay? And if you can't handle the truth, then I don't... I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just how it be. All right, you know, let me take your bones. Oh wait, we don't have, we don't have the steel armor in the museum yet. Okay, well, we'll take that. Um, well, I know some of you might be feeling scared right now uh, because your brother just died in front of you. Um, water under the bridge, keep going. <laughs> We, we simply look death in the eye, say, it be like that sometimes, then keep going. <laughs> then we keep going, right, fellas? Right, okay. Let's keep, I don't even know what the fuck's in here. I walked in here and it was like, ooh, a door. I want to see what's inside. And now we're in this fucking door. Hello. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, um, okay, you, you know, maybe we should actually go for... Oh god, he does damage. Please don't look at me. Stop. Stop. What? Huh? What? What? What is it doing? Is it trying to kill me? Is it getting Whoa! I think it like tried to do a kill move and then just didn't didn't work. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Well that was something. Okay. Let's keep going. Alright. I guess we're dealing with spiders. I guess it's spiders and bandits down here. Uh, ooh, sex. All right. Um, I'm not gonna make the joke. Okay, I know the joke is staring me right in the fucking face. I know it, it's right there. It's right there. But I'm a good noodle. We're we're moving along. Okay, we're not we're not gonna make the joke about the two big heavy dangling sacks in front of me. Okay, we're not we're not doing it. Okay, we're mature. We're beyond that. Okay, we're better than that, right, gamers? Yeah, we're this is good, good, um, good Christian Minecraft gameplay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, web sacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just you know it's where the spiders put their put their webs. You know, it's not look crazy. Circlet of omnipotence. What does omnipotence mean? Omni, like omnipotent? What What does omnipotent mean? <laughs> uh, health, stamina, and magic are increased by 25. Weapons do 15% more damage. Ooh, damn. All spells cost 10% less to cast. Sign me the fuck up. Hell yeah. I'll be omnipotent. Fuck, that's like, I don't know why. That's a fun word to say. Omnipotent. 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 Omnipotent means all powerful. Okay, yeah, that's that's kind of like what I thought it was. Hi, Zia! Welcome in, gamer! We are cooking. Okay, let's see. All right, oh, look at the shadow. The shadow looks so cool. Ooh, okay. All right, let's see. Oh, hey! Are my ladies still here? I don't think my ladies are here. Say hello to my lady friends! Okay. Hopefully, don't die this time. If you die, then... <laughs> Okay. It's just this one guy. You're not gonna let one guy kill you. Just one little guy? Yeah, get his ass. See that? Look at that. That's the face of a warrior right there. Well, he doesn't have a face, but like, I, I see it in his eyes, right? That's the bone structure of a warrior right there. <laughs> Does that count? Does that work? I think that works. That's, that's, that's fine. Uh, here we go. Uh, any bones for me? Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. All right, show me your war face. See, here's the thing is I haven't like, I'm very excited for my um, my rig brush up because my the person that does all my models, the rigging for them, Hexed, um, he's not only doing my Skyrim model, uh, which is slated to come out in June, he's also doing a brush up of my teacher model and my main model. Uh, and we're hoping that I can have more expressions. Uh, Cause right now, all the faces I have are just, and ah, like that's that's kind of like I can kind of, uh, I can't do a whole lot, you know. So I'm hoping, and like the thing with VTuber models is usually the expressions are on like a toggle, right? And when I first got my model made, oh Jason, thank you so much, gamer, for the 18 months. Hello, oh thank you. I am girl bossing. I have two skeletons. Only one of them died. 
Um, but you know what we say? It, it be like that sometimes. You know, you gotta teach him about the horrors of the world early on. <laughs> but thank you so much for the 18 PlayStations, Gamer. I really appreciate that. But yeah, when you're getting a VTuber model, right? The, the expressions, the little faces they make is usually like a button press, right? A toggle. And when I got my big boy VTuber model, um, my whole thought was like, I'm not gonna fucking remember to press a button. I'm not, oh, uh, be careful, buddy. I don't, I don't think we should go this way. <laughs> but that was my thought. I was like, I'm not gonna remember to press a fucking button. No, there's no way. Um, so I just didn't get any toggles. <laughs> But now, with technology, um, we're gonna rig my model so that I won't need toggles. And then just what my face does, um, I will do. So, here's the thing, is it says... South Skyrim Watch. Where's our shrine? Okay, I'm sliding. I'm electric sliding to my fucking doom. Um, I will hydrate in a second once I'm sure that I won't fall to my... Oh, I fucked myself, haven't I? Um, maybe if I go around... Bring it around. Help me! No! Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I... That shouldn't... Okay. Um... I don't think that should have worked. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Anyway. <laughs> drink my water. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I guess, what, what's over here? Are you a friend or a not friend? Whoa! Okay, um, we don't know if he's a friend or a foe yet. You don't need to square up like that. Are you a friend? What say you? Are you a pal? Or a not pal? Okay, you are not a pal. Okay, not a pal. Message received, yeah. You could have just been my friend, and it would have been fine. But you had to not be my friend, and now I have to have my skeleton babies stab you to death. It, we could have been besties, but wasn't meant to be, I guess. Wasn't meant to be. Okay. Does the other guy have any bones? Where'd the other guy go? There was two guys. Okay, let's see. Uh, we'll take these potions. Oh, this is a book we don't have yet. Warrior. Okay. Block increased to nine. Well, I don't know when I'm going to use that, considering I'm a little spell lady, but, you know. Well, I appreciate the gesture. Um, anything else over here? Tomato. Tomato. Well, I don't need any tomatoes. We're not running mods that require me to eat. I kind of just don't do that. <laughs> Let's, uh, hop. Hop. Okay, should be Nordic runestones over there. Here we go. Snow elf shrine. Okay, we're getting closer. Let's just follow the path for once in our lives. Let's just follow the path see what happens okay maybe if we do what we're supposed to do it'll be okay you guys coming oh look at them they're hustling they're hustling okay let's go buddy let's let's go ah! okay starbucks thank you so much for the yeet gamer i appreciate it oh is it the the stair steppies over here no that's not stair steppies that's that's just a rock okay so it seems like it's over here. If we go, I guess it's like an up and around kind of thing. Look <laughs> out! But yes, I do hope you guys enjoy the new. I hope you guys like the little immersion thing, and you like the um, the giving me a concussion. I hope you enjoy that. Okay, so I hope I can find my way to this shrine. If we can't, we're just gonna. Uh, it is that guy butt ass naked? Hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, wait. Is, is his dick out? Your dick's not supposed to be out. Oh, um, why? What the fuck? Who? Who are you? Uh. Please stay away while you got that spell on you. Why is your dick out? Like, are we allowed to show nudity on Twitch? I did. I just don't fucking remember. I They changed the rules like eight times. I don't fucking know what's allowed anymore. Like... Can, can we do, like, a, a drive-by cock rating? <laughs> like, like, we can't? Okay. I'm just gonna... Damn, he got that thing on him. Okay. <laughs> Nudie's not allowed. Damn it! <laughs> I don't want to do Twitch meta shit. I just want to look at really, like... I, okay, can I... <laughs> it's bannable again? God damn it. They won't let me have any fun, okay? <laughs> there goes the bottom. Bestie, I actually, listen. 
All I'm gonna say is I upload all my VODs to YouTube, okay? All my VODs go on YouTube. And I haven't gotten in trouble yet. Like I said, no, I think I accidentally, literally, accidentally, okay. <laughs> I think, literally, the stream with Candleberg, where I accidentally got my boy pussy pounded in Dragon's Reach. Like, that's my, that is my most popular video on my YouTube channel. It has, like, thousands of views, and it's still up there. It's still up there. You, you can cut parts of VODs. Well, yeah, but I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what you see on YouTube is raw and uncut, okay? <laughs> so, like, like that's the thing. I don't want to do, like, can I say something fucked up? Okay, no, we were talking about this in Discord. Okay, as you all know, I am an Astarian enjoyer, okay? If you play Baldur's Gate 3, you know who I'm talking about. The twink vampire that tries to kill you. I love twinks, I love vampires, and I love the thought of death. <laughs> so he was the one for me, <laughs> right? So... But I'm a big fan of him. And a company not affiliated with Larian Studios, the company that makes the game, made an Astarian statue. So, like, that's cool. You know, that's that's funky. Why do the logs look like beef jerky? Like, I know it's, like, burning, but is it burning that bad? They look like beef jerky. But anyway, uh, I don't know if I'm going the right way anymore. I got distracted thinking about balls. Um, are you? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let my ladies handle this while I continue my thought. Um, this, see, this is why conjuration is so good for someone with ADHD. I can just let them do all the work while I talk to you guys, right? But that's the thing is they made the Astarian model and they gave him an NSFW version. And the thing with Baldur's Gate is all the characters have canon dick sizes, right? Because nudity is a thing in Baldur's Gate. If you want to know how big a character's dick is, you just take their armor off and bada bing bada boom, penis, right? So Astarian has a, a canon. Are you guys okay? Okay, cool. Astarian has a canon dick size, right? So I go look at the statue, right? And I'm like, okay, let's take a look. Because it looks really, like, well made, right? Like, on the surface, I'm like, oh, that's, that's pretty cool looking, you know? And then I look at the NSFW version, right? For, for research purposes, of course, of course. Um, his dick was, like, the size of his forearm. His, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, something about, like, I think it's, like, a hentai thing or just, like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't fucking know. I really don't. But, like, something about, like, disproportionately large penises is really fucking funny to me. And I feel like it happens with this mod pack all the time. Because, like, in Baldur's Gate, they were, like, actually normal, right? They were, like, normal PP sizes, at least in my opinion. You know, I'm not an expert on that kind of thing or anything. More of a novice. But, like, <laughs> his dick was just massive. Like, I'm not even saying this isn't like, oh my god, his balls are so huge. Blah, 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 blah. No, like, look it up. Look it up and tell me, like, they're so large. And for what? You know? <laughs> for what? <laughs> But that's the thing is I walked past that guy and I was like, what the fuck? And the best thing about Skyrim is they have like physics. It's so funny to me. Like, <laughs> I don't know. This gives me it seems like a weird segue, but like, hear me out because I was making a joke with my dad about Skyrim mods. And I think my dad said something because my dad knows what I do. I've talked about my parents on here quite an awful lot. My parents know that I stream, right? And they know what I stream, right? Because like, I feel like explaining the jokes I make to my parents like is easier than like I don't know you know I, I'm up front with them because I don't want them to get any like other ideas like it's like no mom I'm not doing only fans I just joke about dicks on the internet <laughs> that's it okay but like here we go snow elf shine so before I touch this I literally made it like my dad made a joke he's like oh yeah what's the next mod you're gonna install HD ball physics and I'm like yeah that's a thing dad it's called Slongs of Skyrim look at the fuck up Look at the fuck up. And he didn't believe me. My, He doesn't believe me. Dad, if you're watching, it's real. Okay, everyone in this chat can tell you. The songs of Skyrim is very real. That's a threat. All right, anyway. Snow Elf Shine. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Well, I found it. Activate Sunlock. Oh, I'm going to quick save before I press any buttons. <laughs> okay, hi. Okay. Um. I found it. It's doing an a laser. Is that is that it? I guess we just activate the laser. 
Oh, that's right. It's the book thing. We have to find all the monuments. This was a false card thing. I forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. Okay. So we just have to find the other ones, and then we'll be then we'll be good to go. Maybe that's a beam of light. Isn't that all that lasers are? Did anyone, like, maybe this was an early 2000s thing. Did anyone have, like, a laser light show come to their elementary school? Because I do. And it was, like, the most banger shit I had ever heard in my entire fucking life. It was the coolest thing. Okay? We, I don't know what it was, but this laser light show, it, shit went hard. It was so fucking cool. But, like, why'd they show that to elementary school students? Like, I feel like if you, like, I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's not something that I think would be an elementary school assembly. They don't, they don't do that shit anymore, by the way, as an elementary school teacher. Like, they don't, like, they have, like, this one thing, like, that for, I don't want to say the name of it, because I don't know if it's a local thing or if, like, a regular thing that they do about, like, space and stuff. But we used to have, like, all kinds of stuff come to my school. Like, I remember at one point we, like, made plastic from scratch. Um, there was, like, a special truck, like, science thing that came to us. We had the laser light show. They hardly do shit like that anymore. It's crazy to me, you know? Light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Okay, that makes sense. All right, side note, we're gonna finally go talk to the Greybeards, because we've been, um, we've been putting that off, and I don't, I don't know if the Greybeards, <laughs> I don't know the Greybeards' opinion on procrastination, you know? I, I, I think we started trying to go to... Yeah. How have we not gone to High Hrothgar yet? I could have sworn... I could have sworn we went to High Hrothgar already in this playthrough. Am I losing my shit? Or did we already go to High Hrothgar? Also, I'm gonna do the... I forgot I had Fast Boy move. We're gonna, we're gonna do the Fast Boy move. Fast Boy move! Yee! I love fast boy move. This is my favorite spell in the entire fucking game. Look how fucking fast I am. And he uses my magicka and not my stamina. Oh, fantastic. Okay, any spell that lets you go faster, god tier. Okay, absolutely god tier. Um, but yeah, that was... That's... Yeah. Oh, look at these two goats. Wait, are they... What? Why are you guys wiggling together? Am I... Did I interrupt something? I am so sorry. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Moving on. I like mixing that one with slow fall. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. But, yeah. There was something else I wanted to tell you guys, but I can't remember what it is. But, yeah. I feel like we went to High Hrothgar before. Like, 99% sure. Although, it might have been another playthrough. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. So, something I've been thinking about lately, right? Is, I know this playthrough is going to be really long. Right? I know, I know for a fact it is. And there's part of me that's thinking about starting a secondary playthrough. Um, and s just, like, doing more of, like, traditional Skyrim Sunday. Because the last time I tried to do a Dragon... Like, at one point on YouTube, I specifically planned the Legacy of the Dragonborn run. And it just didn't work out. And then with Vanya's character, her whole thing is acquiring all the knowledge to become the most powerful sorceress in the land type shit. So I feel like Legacy of the Dragon War makes sense for her, right? To just be that as, like, my completionist playthrough. Because I've never done one before, right? But I do kind of want to go back and have, like, a more roleplay heavy playthrough. And there's one character... There's two characters I haven't introduced you yet that are um, in my book, in my novel with all my other OCs. And one of them is like big buff, another muscle mommy. Um, and the other is a Chad. <laughs> so I'm thinking, and I did a poll on my YouTube if you guys want me to start doing Skyrim twice a week. And I think we're still going to keep this pro like this save on Sundays. But would you guys be interested in an alternate playthrough on another day? That's more like a little bit more roleplay heavy than this one is. And a little bit more like, I don't know if continuous is the right word. Um, but something like that. Because I have these two characters where it's like, I want to play them low-key. But I don't want it to take over my main playthrough. So it probably wouldn't be weekly. It might be like every other week or pretty much whenever I'm like really feeling lots of Skyrim. <laughs> But yeah, one of them's a Chad and one of them's a Muscle Mommy. So if we do the Chad playthrough, I will be trying to romance every single woman ever. <laughs> Whereas if I do the Muscle Mommy playthrough, I'm just going to hit things really hard. <laughs> so, you know, it's up to you guys. But it's something I've been thinking about, you know. All right, are you going to come down? Are you shy? I think he's shy. Oh, no. Get his ass. Oh. Oh, he had a fall. Come on! Oh, okay. That was incredibly anticlimactic. But I'm also doing a beginner quest at, like, level 19. So, you know. 
That happens sometimes. I don't know. It's like... There was something I was gonna say, but I'm afraid if I... Sometimes I think things to say on stream and I have to be like, no, don't say that. That could be misconstrued. And this isn't one of those times. This is something where I'm like, if I say that, I'm probably just gonna look really fucking stupid. How tall is, like... I don't know, understand how mountains work. Let me, let me, let me reiterate, okay? It says like 19,000 steps, right? 19,000 steps. Is that like, like if we were to compare that, like if we were to compare High Hrothgar to like a real mountain, would it be like Mount Fuji or like Mount Everest mountain? Like how much mountain are we mountaining here? That's what I wanna know. Hi Kami, welcome in gamer. Eight hour streams, five days a week. Listen, listen, if I ever could go full-time streaming, hell yeah. <laughs> But right now we're gonna we're gonna see how three days a week goes and we'll 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 fuck around and find out, so to speak. But yeah, like how mountain is this mountain, right? Like if we're being realistic, should girly need an oxygen tank to get up here? Or like is this I don't know, I've climbed some like I like hiking. I haven't done it in a really long time because I used to do it with my dad when I was younger and like we haven't really done anything since COVID. Um But I like hiking. I like the like going up and like mountaining and i don't know how else to describe hiking it's just walking on a mountain really <laughs> i live um a decent or i used to live um like an hour drive away from the appalachian like one of the appalachian trails so we used to go there a lot um but that's like is it like that like an appalachian mountain not too tall okay because i'm like should <laughs> does she need like a sherpa with her or something because like don't get me wrong she doesn't have her honkers out but she's not um she does have her knees out, which is arguably an even worse defense, depending on who you talk to. A dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Mm. I'm answering your summons. It only takes you a few minutes to climb. Well, yeah, but I'm also using magic to go fast. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. I never liked the way he said that. Let us taste of your voice. I don't think I want you... Like, I'll scream, but don't don't say you're going to taste it. I don't... What does my voice taste like? Oh. What does it taste like? Cotton candy. <laughs> 19,000 feet? Okay, that, you know, that does make sense. That's what he's saying. He said, taste my voice. And I'm like, I don't think I want that, bro. That's a little... A little sussy. Um, who are you? What is this place? We are the also, is the volume okay? Is anything too loud? Or too quiet? Well, welcome in. The slopes of sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance in our inner and outer. Right, no. Chat's a little bit too loud. <laughs> well, you heard him, chat. Inside voices. <laughs> Um, I'm ready to learn. I'm not calling nobody master. Fuck that. <laughs> you have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But I don't know. Do you ever get, like, really, like, can I be so fucking for real for a second? Funk. Um, sometimes I get, like, kink TikToks on my For You page. And, like, don't get me wrong. I'm far from a prude. Y'all know that, right? But if I'm, like, just minding my fucking business, going about my day... And I get, like, a girl in puppy ears, like, calling someone daddy on my For You page. I kind of freak out a little bit. Like, I feel like I turn into, like, a 60-year-old grandma when I see something like this. I'm like, oh! Oh, my! <laughs> then I, like, scroll past it immediately. Like, I'm not, like, kink shaving. Like, do what you want. But it's like, what's on TikTok? It's like, bro, there's kids on this app. I'm like, what? Oh, my God! Okay, this was a thing. We might have talked about this before. But, like, oh, my God. There was this thing a while ago. Where, um, how do I say this without, okay. There was this thing I saw on TikTok, right? And it was this girl and her husband, and her and her husband were getting a pedicure. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with men getting pedicures. Live your best life. But apparently, while she was getting a pedicure, she had, like, um, you know the funky little egg thing that you shove up your cooter and it goes, like, for reasons? You know, you know what I'm talking about? And they have, like, the, there's, like, an app on your phone that you control it. You know what I'm talking about? Apparently, because when you're getting your, your,
your feet done, right? Your nails done. Your legs are spread so they can paint your nails, right? And I guess she was wearing like shorts. But apparently, she's in public with her husband having the little the little fucking egg going right? And it's like Don't get me wrong. I yeah, that one. <laughs> I get, like, again, I'm not a prude, okay? If you want to be horny, that's fine, okay? But the, something about, like, doing that in public, like, with the, the poor nail people, you know? Something, something about that doesn't sit right with me, you know? Like, 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 don't be afraid to be kinky, but don't do it when there's, like, in public, you know? Like, that, you could, you could get with the sex offenders registry for that, bro. That's... That's fucked up, you know? Why would someone make a TikTok of that? There's so many things where I'm like, why would you make a TikTok of this? <laughs> why why would you do that? <laughs> we don't we don't need that. Alright. I foos rode. Oh, aren't I supposed to foos roll all of them? I haven't been paying attention. I was talking about the fucking rose toy bullshit. <laughs> uh -huh. Smells like biscuits. I think David heated up his leftovers and they smell like biscuits. There we go. Okay, I have to do it three times. That's right. That's what I have to do. The guy got a uh, had one in and when he got an MRI. <gasps> that wait what? That that makes sense, but like I have not heard that. Is it something with like the the radio waves or some shit where it's like it interacted or something and it like can you imagine like an egg exploding in your cooter? Oh my god, I would kill myself. If if the egg didn't kill me, then I would. <laughs> right, excuse me. There we go. But, like, I don't know. The one I will never forget is the the Reddit story about the pegging in the Buffalo Wild Wings. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know, okay? Magnet. Oh, very, very strong magnets. Holy shit. I think I, I would cry. I would literally. I would. Oh. How do you forget that's in there, though? Like. I mean, maybe, maybe the person, like, in charge, quote-unquote, was like, you need to wear it all the time. And it's like, oh. I, can we make some e e exceptions? Like, huh? Huh? I, I feel like we can, we can make an exception. I don't know. Something I used to do is I used to do Reddit reading streams a lot. And I like doing Reddit reading streams. And we used to have, like, plastic, uh, plastic ducks playing in the background. But the thing with Reddit reading streams is I could never, like, they, I, my voice always hurt afterwards. Because I was always, like, talking a bunch, right? So, I stopped doing them just because they were really fun. But they hurt my voice. But, like, I'm totally down to read you guys Reddit stories while we're walking around Skyrim. Because <laughs> I can't stop. I, like, have you guys heard the Buffalo Wild Wings pegging story? Because it's fucking wild. Okay? It's fucking wild. That one was crazy. There was one chick who had a butt plug that was supposed to be 100% silicone but had a metal core. Oh my god! <laughs> they nearly killed her! That's crazy! That's wild! No, I'm gonna link it here. When we start walking, I will read the Reddit pegging story because it's so fucking funny. And it literally gets me. Like, like the, every, I feel like everyone has a Reddit story that they read where it's like, it is like the Reddit story <laughs> to them. Like, it's like, I don't know. It's one of those things that gets me every fucking time. But for now, no more pegging. We have to prove our worth to some old guys, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. He's a runner. He's a track star. I could have sworn we'd done this this playthrough, though. Hey, boys, let the, let the guys have their space. Don't, don't walk up. Okay, judges. Stand next to me. Master Bory will open the gate. Master Bory? Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay. I'm ready. Can I just walk up? Wow! Okay. We did it. Alright. Easy peasy. Alright. Let's go. Your quick mastery of a new thune is uh, astonishing. Because I'm the it girl. I T G I R L. I'm so good at dragonborning, you wouldn't believe it. Um, I thought it was this easy for everyone. No. <laughs> no. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Wing. Okay. I don't think I've done the horn quest in a while. We did um start the main quest in another character's playthrough, but I don't remember whose it was or how long ago it was. So like I remember most of this, but not not a ton. Okay. All right. 
Let's skedaddle. I do need to play an ad real quick so Twitch doesn't get mad at me. And while the ad's playing, I'm going to refill my water and I'm going to pull up the Reddit story. We'll go on another adventure and we'll talk about the, the pegging at the Buffalo Wild Wings because it's really fucking funny. <laughs> and I think everyone on my stream needs to know about it because I'm evil. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick ad break. If you've been here the whole time, please get up, get some water, all that jazz. We will be back in a few minutes. Okay? All right. BRB. Beep, 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 beep. Is it going? Is it going? It's probably not going yet. Okay. Whoever. Hi, Baba. Okay, let me... Here, hold on. I think we're all back. Okay. Are we back? Are we back? It says your community is back. Are they for real or are they are they not for real? We back? Okay. Perfect. So, like, let me pull up this. Are you ready for the most fucked up ASMR of your life? <laughs> because I think this is going to be the most fucked up ASMR of your life. Okay. So, we're going to we're going to walk around the beauty of Skyrim. We're going to enjoy Skyrim's nature, right? And I'm going to read you a story, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for your story time gamers cuz it's it's fucking story time. So, let's see daddle and once we start reading, I it, it once I start moving, it'll be it'll be story time. Okay. Let me figure out where we're going to go. And then we'll, then we'll get going. Because if I'm like, I need to know, here, let's pick somewhere deliberately far away. Let's go, let's go all the way over here to Winterhold. Oh yeah, we're going on a trek for this one. Okay, are you ready? Today I fucked up by letting my wife peg me in a restaurant bathroom. Okay, this is tagged NSFW on r slash today I fucked up. I'll start of this post by saying my wife and I are very sexually adventurous and have tried just about anything you can th think of. In parentheses, besides scat, CNC, race play, among a few other things. If you don't know what those things are, don't ask. I will not tell you. <laughs> but two of our favorite acts are public sex and pegging. 
good for you, I guess. Um, not actually, because I, I, I'll say it again. I think public sex is weird, right? I, 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 don't bring other people. Like, there's kids. There might be kids around, bro. Be, be reasonable, okay? Be responsible. Anyway. Cut to this Friday, my wife and I were feeling very adventurous this day. Dot, dot, dot. We had done public sex and pegging, but never both at the same time. So we thought it would be very kinky to try both out. <laughs> we thought it would be very kinky to try out both at our local Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Okay, not to be a hater, but what part of hot sex and Buffalo Wild Wings? Like, like I don't think those are synonymous. Like, I don't, I think, when I'm thinking about going down to Pound Town and getting jiggy with it, you know, Boneless Thursdays is not, not what comes to mind, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, not to be a hater, but that's, that's just me. The dinner started as usual, we ordered our food, and I got a plate of hot wings, and she got a steak. Who the fuck gets a steak at, does Buffalo Wild Wings even serve steak? Because this story could entirely be, like, deemed fake, just based on the fact that, like, who, who the fuck orders steak at Buffalo Wild Wings? I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, what's your favorite Buffalo Wild Wings flavor? I'm a, I'm a honey barbecue girly myself, but that's that's just me. Also, I'm, I think I'm about to fall off this fucking mountain. I think we have to go this way instead. Okay. Anyway. Uh, we both gave each other the look, signifying we were getting horny. <laughs> Can you imagine, like... I don't know why, but, like, the way they said the look. You know, like, in, uh, what is it, fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, where they start doing, like, the hand signs and shit really fast? Can you imagine that? But that's, like, your your signifier of, like, it's time to go. This sounds like a teen's creative writing. <laughs> Honestly, here's the thing. is like, yeah, yeah, this very well could be fake. I'm not saying this is true, but it is, it is fine, okay? We both gave each other the look signifying we were getting horny. We started playing footsies under the table, and one thing led to another, uh, and I got up to enter the bathroom. I had prepared my anus the night before. <laughs> I had prepared my anus the night before, so it's ready for action, but I felt my stomach kind of jittery, but I assumed it was the excitement and nervousness of doing both acts at the same time. So this is, like, to lend credence to the this is fake theory, any self-respecting, um... How do I phrase this? Any self-respecting anal sex enthusiast <laughs> would know. <laughs> don't eat before getting it in the butt. Like, you don't. That, no. Ew. Icky. Like, <laughs> unless you're into that sort of thing. But, like, then it's getting really hard for me to not judge you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. My wife snuck into the bathroom a few minutes later with her purse and entered the stall with me. The look on her eyes when she pulled the strap on from her purse had my knees weak. We got everything ready and it was time. Everything was going amazing until someone entered the bathroom and then we had to slow down. I was bent. <laughs> God, I have to watch where I'm going because I'm going to fucking fall off the mountain while talking about pegging in a buffalo wild wings. <laughs> okay. Um, where was it? Uh, I was bent standing over the toilet, uh, with her behind me. Usually in moments like these in public, we stop and wait for the person to leave, but my wife told me she couldn't help herself and kept going slowly as the man was doing his business. I almost walked off a mountain there. That's fucking hilarious. Why do you carry this strap with you? <laughs> that, yeah, that's another good point. Like, low-key, I kind of want to know what kind of purse she has. Like, what kind of purse is she using to conceal, like, a whole ass strap on? Like, that's like a harness and a dildo, right? There's like, it's multifaceted, right? Like, does she have like the Louis Vuitton bag with the strap in it? Like, I need to know. I just checked the Buffalo Wild Wings website and I don't see steak. All right, fake, fake. Anyway, <laughs> um, let me see. My wife told me she couldn't help herself and kept going slowly as the man was doing his business. I tried my absolute best. Uh, I'm trying to like, <laughs> God, it's windy here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. To hold my breathing and moans, but a few slipped out and I just couldn't help it. The man then heard and called out, Hey, is everything all right in there? <laughs> is everything all right in there? She wears the harness and the dildos in the back. Okay, that would make sense. That could be like a fashion statement even if you play your cards right. Um, uh, I quickly replied with a, I'm good, just having some stomach issues. <laughs> uh, he said okay and then exited the bathroom. Now, this is the part where we messed up and we should have just packed everything right then and there, but left 
uh, and left, but the moment got to us and we ended up continuing. This decision turned out to be the wrong one. Whoopsie. Excuse me, homeless man. All right. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> I say thank you for the hydrate. I apologize for the story you're hearing me tell. This is not my story. By the way, this is a story off Reddit. This is Evie's fucked up ASMR while she walks through the beautiful landscape of Skyrim. Okay. Uh, a worker entered the bathroom and yelled, All right, jigs up, guys. We know you're a couple in there. Come on, get out. No one would say that. Like, I feel like no one, like, I, again. Um, oh, what? You're the one they call dragon. I'm trying to talk about pegging in a buffalo wild wings. Now is not the time. Yes, the graybeards think I'm the dragonborn. Then it is too late. The lie has already taken root in the heart. Oh, God damn it. So we shall expose to them the falseness in their hearts by tearing out your... I was busy. Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None I'm busy right now. Can you come back and kill me later? God damn it. Okay. Well, why does everyone want to kill me? Everyone wants to kill me, and it's really messing with my vibe. I'm sorry. <sighs> all right. I apologize. We'll get back to story time in a second. Okay. I have to. I have to murder someone very, very quickly. And I guess now we're doing the Dragonborn DLC. Yippee. Okay. Can you, like, chill out, bro? It's not that serious. It is not... Yeah, thank you, guards. Please don't kill my skeleton babies. Okay, yes, thank you. Give me your robes. Um, give me... Ooh! Uh, give me your... Yeah, give me all this. And give me your skull. And your leg. Oh, fuck. We're over cucumbered. God damn it. Not again. Um... There should be a lockbox somewhere, like, by the general store for me to drop off my stuff, by the way. Because Legacy of the Dragonborn does have, like, a thing. Like, there's a thing with it where it should be, like, where there's a general store or somewhere in each hold, there's a place for you to drop off your stuff. And also, if I use Longstride, um, it negates me being over cucumbered. What? That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. My hands only? Why was he like, oh, need to turn that on? I think I did turn it on. To the Dragonborn. Okay. Nope. We'll deal with that later. Where is there? There is a, what? Who are you? Why, why does everyone want to talk to me? You are going to say, the answer is no. why, why does everyone want it? Okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> All right. I think it's in the tavern for this one. Let's Please let's check. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Let me check this, and then we'll get back to then we'll get back to story time. <laughs> but yeah, the jig is up, guy. That feels fake. That absolutely feels fake. All right. Uh, let's see. Is there any boxes here? What fucking hole are we in, by the way? Falkreath? No, we're in a, we're in, well, we're in, um, Varset. That's right. We're not even in a hold. Yeah, so there may not be a thing here. We may have to fast travel. Okay. Mind your business, Thomas. Oh, you're a wizard? The skeleton, 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 skeleton. Why, why is he phasing through me? I'm having a conversation. Um... I, I, I'm not casting magic on a child. That's fucked up. Aww. And here I thought you could do it. Now wait a second. Well, I'll just have to think of something else. I am a real time. wizard. It's just you're a child. Okay. I'm, yeah. Okay. Let me. Here's what we're gonna. What is over cucumbering me? Is this what schizophrenia looks like? <laughs> I mean, you're not entirely wrong. <laughs> not. Not entirely. <laughs> uh, which leg, leg, bleh, which leg did you steal? The left, right, or middle? I don't know. I need, I need like a left leg. I need one of each leg. I need one of each body part to make a skeleton friend. That's what I need. So I'm not sure if there's gonna be a box over here. Let's actually just fast travel to um, Solitude real quick, um, and then we'll yeah, because we need to drop off our shit, our shit anyway. So remove our marker. Here, give me the. Oh, I can't fast travel while cucumbered. God damn it. Okay. Um, I wanted to tell the story about people getting pegged in the Buffalo Wild Wings, but no, I have to be over cucumbered on. I have to be over cucumbered. Okay. Um, let's see. Like fever tears. <laughs> the correct answer is autism, but <laughs> I always feel bad when I make those jokes because I don't want people to think I'm like making fun of autistic people. Because motherfucker, I am autistic people. <laughs> Is there not a store in Varstead, though, by the way? Because I don't know if there is. Okay, maybe I don't need all of these arms. Maybe we can drop a few bones and call it a day. 
I think we'll... Do I have any dupes of anything? Like, doubles of armor I picked up? Uh, rings aren't really gonna make a difference. Um... These are cool staffs, but I don't, like, need them. I think we'll just drop some bones. Because, like, there's no shortage of bones with how often I kill people. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not going to run out anytime soon. As long as it's not the skulls. The skulls are the hardest one that's to come by. So as long as we drop stuff that's not the skulls, I think we'll be, we'll be okay. Um, listen. It's cute and quirky to be a grave robber. Actually, no, I'm not a grave robber. I source all my bones... Uh, organically. And by organically, I mean by murdering them. But it still counts. Okay, so let's go over to, um, what is it called? Dragonborn Gallery. There we go. Okay. <laughs> While it's sorting our, our relics, but welcome it. <laughs> While it's sorting our relics, I'll continue this story. Um, let's see. My wife and I both looked at each other wide-eyed and knew we were fucked. Yeah, if you just came in, this is the story of a couple choosing to, um, practice pegging at a Buffalo Wild Wings. Because I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to tell this Reddit story. It's because I thought it would be funny, okay? Can't be a grave robber if they never had a grave to begin with. True, exactly. I did come back to Skyrim because I ran out of boners. That is that is true. Uh, it's neither here nor there, okay? Okay, let me get this going. And then I will I will continue. I'm going to have to just alt tap. <laughs> let me go. Do, 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 do. Uh, do, 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 do. This is what happens when I don't take my meds and I stream. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Yes, okay, while I was doing that. Alright. Um, oh, it sorted them really fast. Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna alt-tab I'm gonna finish telling the story. Okay, because I don't want and we're gonna we're gonna do that. Okay, and I know I look dark. It's because of the, the lighting for my for my thing in the game. So just trust me here, okay? We're gonna read this story and then we'll then we'll get back to actually playing Skyrim because I'm I'm too deep into it now. It's almost done. Okay. Uh let's see. Uh, worker entered the bathroom and yelled, All right, jigs up, guys. We know you're a couple in there. Come on, get out. My wife and I both looked at each other wide-eyed and knew we were fucked. No pun intended. Uh, we didn't reply and started panicking, taking the strap on out of me and rushing to pack everything up. Here's where another problem occurred. Remember the stomach jitters I had before? Yeah, well, um, I'm assuming the wings didn't sit well with me because as my wife took the strap out, I ended up exploding diarrhea all over my wife, the stall walls, and the floor. My wife screamed in utter shock as I collapsed over the toilet, hugging it from the hell of my burning asshole. <laughs> <laughs> the worker screamed, what the hell is going on over there? I got on all fours to look under the stall and saw the absolute haunting scene of my wife in a stall covered in shit and me almost passed out hugging the toilet for dear life. Needless to say, my wife and I were kicked out and the authorities will be contacting us, contacting us later tomorrow about the whole fiasco. I think we learned our lesson here. TLDR, my wife and I decided to get freaky and have public pegging sex in a restaurant bathroom. We ended up getting caught and I shit all over her in the bathroom stall. So here's the funny thing about this though, because I'm no Whenever I see people post shit, I go to their post history, right? Because I'm nosy. And if you go to this guy's post history, I'm not going to share it. Um, but his post history is just full of, like, there's no, okay, there's no update to this post, for one. But his most recent post, like, after all this, is on the r slash Atrox main subreddit. Which, if you're not familiar, Atrox is a character in League of Legends. <laughs> so it's just him talking about a matchup between, like, um... Aatrox and Trindamir in League and no one's like mentioned that he's the like th 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 there's so much like it takes every bone of my body to not go into that and be like hey unrelated I know we're talking about League of Legends and top lane matchups aren't you that guy that got pegged in a Buffalo Wild Wings <laughs> I'm not gonna do it okay I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be bad I'm not gonna be a bad person but oh my god the temptation is <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, thank you so much for the sub for the 22 months. Practice safe hot wings eating. Yep, practice safe hot wings eating. That's that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. Okay, we did get rid of um a good amount of stuff with the um with the display sorting. So we're at a good number of displays. We do have a painting to put up as well, I believe. So let's find a place to put up our painting. Um, maybe drop off some of our fate cards as well. We still don't have like, so it says we have like, oh, actually, yes, let me like check. Keep, um, keep oh, boss. Stux, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Gamer, you're not guessing, you keep girl boss. Let's see, how many displays do we have actually? Because it should say here. Yeah, it says 193 displays. Yes, I apologize you turned your volume back on during the Buffalo Wild Wings pegging story. I, I apologize. <laughs> Like I said, the most fucked up ASMR you've ever heard in your life. Um, 
So 193 displays sounds like a lot, but it's really like not because it's like, I don't know. Like when you look through this, this hall right here, it, it does look kind of empty. Although we are starting to get some stuff in over here with these like weapons and whatnot. So we're getting there. Like the golden claws there, we have a replica of that. Somebody's actually, that's what I need to do. I need to see if we can make any more replicas low key. Because I think a lot of the replicas we need require stone. And we haven't found any stone quarries yet. So that's a big... That's kind of holding us back in some way. So let me see what we got here. Replica workbench. Um, Silver ingot. Quarried stone. Gold ingot. Two glass. Clay. Ebony ingot. Leather strips. Yeah, a lot of this needs silver. I mean, I can probably buy a bunch of this stuff. But like... The want to source it organically is there. Let me look at, like, what ingots I have. Ingots and ore. Oh, I do have some silver. Let me grab my silver real quick, and maybe I can, we can make, um... Yeah. Do that. And do that. There we go. Two new displays. yippee ki yay Okay. Add those. Yes. All right. One new display. Oh, I guess we already had one of them. Okay. Well, that's cringe. Um, let's see... I think that's all we can do right now though so let's go back up to the safe house actually and sort some of our supplies because a lot of what's also probably taking up carry weight is going to be supplies right so that's something we're gonna have to watch out for too is making sure we don't get over cucumbered again so i went the wrong fucking way <laughs> yippee okay let's go over there and then we'll figure out kind of what we want to do but we are slowly growing our museum slowly but surely i should probably talk to arian though honestly and see if he has any quests for me. Or if he... Sometimes you just talk to him and he's like, Oh, hello, traveler. Here's a display for you. <laughs> I don't know. I wish that you could, like... I don't know. Not even in, like, a horny way. I love, um, Aryan. I think he's so wholesome. I want to be his friend and I want to kiss him on the lips. I wish there was, like, a romance option for him. Like, I get why there's not. But, like, I don't know. I just think he's really sweet. And I think it'd be very wholesome, you know? This is also the wrong way. Let's go over here. That's right, I think I had an armor set I wanted to display, and it looked really cool, but I didn't have, like, a mannequin for it. So, let me see what armor sets are still around. So, let's see. The cultist stuff is pretty cool. I'm honestly shocked the, the cultist stuff isn't a display, but that might be because it is from a DLC. So, let's display some of the cultist stuff, and then some of the Mythic Dawn stuff. Because, again, they're, they're cool armors. You know, but it's just like, they're, you know, they don't have a display, but I don't want to just get rid of them, you know. So, let's see. That should be good. Warlock's ring. Yeah, apparently I had, I guess I did a replica twice on accident. That would make sense. But you can always sell it, though, you know. Um, and then let's sort all our supplies. Let's do that. So, store supplies. And it should just go through my inventory and store everything I have automatically. Um, but it looks like we're, we're looking good. So that's the biggest thing is we just need to find stone, right? Stone, ebony ingots. I need to honestly start mining more as we go through different caves and stuff. But the thing is, is it's just like, carry weight is a constant battle in this cave. So now we're down to 193, which is good. Um, but let's see if we have any cool, if anything has been like added, I guess. Um, cause that's the one thing I do like is I do like seeing like, how um certain things look like when you add stuff to them you know is there anything new in the in the cooler no we have a decent amount of meat anything in here no well don't don't go in there buddy um let's see i do think the oven is very cute though let's go to um store some of our fate cards and then i think we're good to hit the road and figure out what we want to do next and what's closest to us because now we're back in solitude and like I don't mind solitude. Oh, I need to fucking level up. I kept putting that off. I never did that. Um, health. And then... We do need more magic damage. Just point blank, period. So we need to fucking... I think we need to just go with one and pick it. Because... We're not gonna... We need to do Dawn Guard. If we want the blood magic spells, which I do, because my, this character's whole thing is blood magic, we need to become a vampire. I don't think there's a way around it without being a vampire. Which, again, I'm not opposed to. Um, but... Yeah. You know, we gotta... It's kind of those things where it was, we gotta do that. 
So I think we'll um, pick like Frost for now as like another spell thing to focus on. So that way we can still do a little bit more damage outside of just our ladies. Uh, we also have a lot of money. Um, so I'm thinking, check it out. Aha! All right, let's add some more money here. And we'll add, let's see. Let's add like 5,000 gold. I think should be good. Yeah, and then... Can I put bones in the treasury? I don't know how much value they have. That's kind of weird, but like, okay. Um, I can't put the golden claw in there. <laughs> It'd be kind of fun if I could, though. But, you know. All right. Mm. I see. It still is, like, not moved by, like, a ton. But it is nice to see, like, how it fills up. You know what I'm saying? All right. Out of the treasury. Get out. You're in. Did you get locked in there? Boys, out. There we go. Thank you. We can't play in the treasury, okay? I'm sorry. We can't do that, okay? Oh, thank you for the pressure check, Chromie. Stretch. Okay, there we go. All right, let's skedaddly do... Oh, I need to talk to Arian because I don't know if the cell pile is, like, functioning. Deadass. Yeah, I don't think it is. Um, I think that's something that comes later because there should be like a little thing here where you pick up your money from it We need to find him. We need to talk to him and see if he has anything else for us to do because we are getting close to 200 displays Which is cool. Uh oh, I like phase through there. Okay Interesting. All right. Um Where is he? I know he has an office. He might be there Let's see. This is the the workroom trying to remember where his office is the library it might be in the library actually but you can see all the um the different like stuff from uh yeah lantern of the ancestors it's like little displays from yeah it's the shrines of the the daedra yeah so we get one of these um you get little shrines as you visit and like do different things even if there's not like a display if you have the curator's book it'll tell you where he is oh i'm not sure if i have that in my inventory um this is the library by the way i don't know if we've ever seen this um, or if I've showed it on stream at this playthrough at least, but it's still library. It's very cool, very fun, very sexy. Um, let's see. Do I have the curator's companion? I do not. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, hmm. We'll go up the second level, I think. If we can't find him, it's no big deal. We can just go on and come back. But I feel like we should get another thing from him soon. And I know there are certain quests with Legacy of the Dragonborn um, that, I don't know if the right word is like proc, um, but they become active once you get a certain number of displays. So we might have another thing coming, um, like a quest specifically for Legacy um, after we hit 200 displays. But I'm not 100% sure. So let's see, Hall of Wonders armory all the forgotten yeah good sworn you had like a little office thing but could be right where i think it is i'm just missing it but oh well he does have an office yeah i'm like 90 i thought it was over here could be wrong because that's where all the the stuff is isn't it like tucked away by the uh these things here we go he's not in his office but hmm. oh well we tried. <laughs> we tried. All right, we'll just move on for now. And I'll, oh, that's a different guy. Who are you, by the way? I guess he's just a patron. So, uh, is it worth the visit? He's very quiet. <laughs> is it just me or is he very quiet? Thanks, bro. Thank you for patting my ego. All right, well, that's cool. Um, these are also, I'm glad you enjoy the museum, but um, this is staff only. You you shouldn't be back here. <laughs> He's not supposed to be here. All right. Oh, well. All right, I guess we'll just skedaddly do then. And I do think maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to do Dongard quite yet. Because I know we did Dongard in, um, I know we did it in, like, a playthrough. It feels like it was recent, but it, I, I know it actually wasn't. You know what I mean? Oh, everyone's looking for me, bro. Your 
I haven't read any of the letters they gave me. I should probably do that. Well, I'm at the best museum in Skyrim. The museum in Dawnstar is cringe and ugly. This is the best museum. Yeah, fuck the Dawnstar Museum. This is the only museum I know, okay? Yeah, fuck them. All right. Where are we going? Let's see. Worms? Wait, Worms Tooth. Oh, that was who was talking to me. I don't think I've ever done Worms Tooth on stream, that ass. Okay. Um, that's cool. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go. We're in. What is the closest thing? Retrieve the horn. Horn's over there. The Norner runestone's over there. I think what we'll do is let's head to the Nordic runestone. I think that'll be easiest. And we'll just fast travel from the Hafengard Stormcloak camp, and then we'll just skedaddly do <coughs> over there. And we'll see what happens. But I think that should be good. That should be good. All right. But yeah, I'm kind of moving out of order today. I'm kind of just doing what geographically makes the most sense rather than, like, story-wise makes the most sense. Because, like, I'll be honest, streaming is one of the... You know how, like, with sailing... I I'm not a sailor. I'm about to say some shit about sailing. Uh, her ass does not go on boats. <laughs> but you know how, like, with sailing, they say, like, you have, like, sea legs? I feel like it's low-key the same in with streaming in some ways where it's, like, you gotta get your streamer legs back. Because, like, I feel like... I don't know, I was kind of nervous to stream today. Like, the other day I was, like, really, like, anxious about it. Like, anxious about, like, streaming again and posting again and just being, like, active again. And I, I don't know why, you know? Like, I've had my ups and downs, but I've never had anything, like, crazy happen to me, you know? But I feel like with streaming, it's one of those things where it's, like, you do kind of, like, get used to it. For all Yeah, that's stupid! <laughs> Well, no, but, like, getting used to, like, talking to people and, like, saying stuff. All you do is sit down and verbal barf at us. But I have to think of what I'm going to verbally barf, right? Part of it is also, like, my voice, like, keeping up with talking for so long. And, I don't know, it's one of the things where it's, like, I am, like, talking all day, like, for my job. But it's like, yeah, I do. Sometimes there's like, like right now, okay, there's like nothing really happening. So I have to think of some dumb fucked up shit today, like to say, like the pegging at Buffalo Wild Wings. I gotta keep you entertained, right? I gotta keep things moving. If I don't say something weird every five minutes, then what am I? <laughs> you know, I gotta keep it, I keep it moving, okay? What was that? Are you good? Oh, dude, you are not good. <laughs> uh, you good? What are you drinking? Wait, is that skooma? Uh, don't kill me. Oh my god, okay. Um <laughs> it like took me a second. I was like, what's happening? Hello? Hello? Oh, don't you dare kill my skeleton. Don't you dare kill my skeleton. No. I don't think I have a way to heal him. Are you good? Okay, I think he's good. Free immediately on the skooma. I mean, is she valid for that? <laughs> like, like, she's probably been through a lot. So, like, you know, I can't... Kind of get it, you know? Like, I kind of get it. Who are you? Please stay away while you got that spell on. Okay, fine. Be lame. You just made a druggie fall back on the piano wagon. <laughs> Those people were trying to get... Wait, are you for real? Is that actually what the... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm a bad person. I don't mean to be a bad person. It just keeps happening on accident. Okay. <laughs> I'm not purposely trying to be a dick. It just happens, you know? <laughs> sometimes... You know what they say. <sighs> it be like that sometimes. <laughs> I'll hail the executive functioning gods of reading again. <gasps> Yay! That's awesome, JK. Not to sound like a normie. But I've actually been, like, doing a pretty good job. Like, I'm going to the gym four times a week. Uh, oh, what would I like to do? Oh, what? Activate? Whoa! What is this? Is that all I have to do is just press the button? I think that's it. I think I just press the button and then I'm... Then I'm good. Where was this quest again? That's the problem is I'm doing things, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing them for. Yeah, the Nora Greenstone. Okay, now it's just the Dwemer thing. Okay, all right, cool. All right, we'll head over to Ustengrau now then to uh, get that horn. Get that horn. Okay. Uh, actually, no, I did want this one. There we go. Cool. Uh, you get a decent thing after doing it? Hell yeah, I love getting free shit. Uh, where's the direction I'm going in again? Is it? Is everything in this direction? 
Sort of. Okay. I think it's over here. There we go. Okay, I found it. <laughs> Your honor, it was an oopsie daisy. <laughs> but yeah, like, not to be a normie. Okay. But I am, oh. like, reading. Um, I'm trying to read 30 minutes a day before bed. Um, I usually don't do it on the weekends because, like, on the weekends I, like, stay up really late playing League and being a gamer. But, like, Monday through Friday I'm a normie. <laughs> and then um, I've been going to the gym, like, four times a week. Um, and I'm drinking water, which is, like, like I, I already drink a decent amount of water already. Um, but I'm drinking more water. I'm trying to only drink one soda per day or no soda per day. So I feel like I've been I've been getting healthier, which makes me happy. You know, we're getting my gains in. I, it, it's really weird how stress affects your body. It does. One of the, like, fucked up things about teaching that I feel like some people don't think about is, like, when you're um, a teacher, you can't go to the bathroom whenever you want. It's like, so a lot of teachers I know purposely dehydrate themselves. Um, I did this for a while too. So they don't have to like go to the bathroom and ruin their day. Um, because if you do have to go to the bathroom, um, the only way you can is if someone watches your class. And a lot of times there's no one there to watch your class. <laughs> so I would purposely not drink water <laughs> so I could like get through the day and now i'm like drinking water all the time and it's like it's like it's the little things you know what i mean i don't drink a lot of, like all the soda i did drink in the past was sugar free but i feel like i'm trying to like be less dependent on caffeine you know what i mean teachers didn't have to watch this at all times i mean i teach elementary school so it might be a little bit different but i know nowadays a big thing is like one of the things they emphasize is that they're like you cannot leave a student alone ever oh the game just crashed oh well, that's not good um <laughs> Uh, rat row raggy. I don't know what my last save was, but I did fast travel, so we should be okay. Hey, and maybe if the game crashed, maybe I can go back and not release that captor so she doesn't go back to a life of drug addiction. You know, maybe, maybe it'll work out, you know? Uh, to like, Amazon employees use a bottle. But yeah, so like, I don't know. It's like a very big thing of like, it might be a liability thing too, though. So, I don't know. But that was, like, a big thing they emphasized was they're, like, you cannot leave a student alone ever. Like, even if I had to, like, just go run to go, like, grab something from, like, the instrument closet. It was, like, no, you cannot do that. Which is, like, kind of stressful at times. <laughs> but it's the little things, you know. If the teacher had to leave for whatever reason, they would knock on the door to the class next to us and tell the teacher to once in a while just peek their head in. Yeah, we can't do that because... So you think you can do that. And hypothetically, that sounds, like, reasonable. But, um, we're not, like, they told us we're not supposed to do that. Because they're like, it's not someone else's responsibility to make up for your poor planning. And it's like, my planning of when I piss? <laughs> like, like, don't get me wrong. It's like, okay, if I chug, like, a shit ton of water, then, like, okay. But, like, hello? Hello. But, yeah, that was something where it's like, it's like the little things. Like, I can pee whenever I want now. And that's, like... Yippee! <laughs> I might have to fix something in my VTube studio since the game crashed and it was like tracking the window lighting. So I might have to alt tab again, but we'll see where it spits me out. We'll see where it spits me out. That only works if the classes share a door. Okay, this isn't too bad here. Let me do something real quick just to make sure my lighting thingy works again because I like my lighting thingy. It's a little thing, but it makes me happy. Is this a school or a factory? Unfortunately, um, the way a lot of schools are run nowadays is it does feel kind of dystopian, unfortunately. All right, is this working? There we go. Okay, it should be. Whee! Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, but yeah, so, you know, <laughs> appendix burst has to go to the hospital leaving kids unsupervised for five minutes. No, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I don't know. It was that, it's like, and I think the other thing that makes me like happy and like that I'm not gonna miss is I can take a day off whenever I want and not have to worry about sub plans. There was a lot of times where I went into work when I really wasn't feeling good just because I didn't like have the energy to make sub plans. And nowadays, if I want to take off work, it's just a quick message of like, hey, uh, no lessons tomorrow. And it works out, you know? What? The people of Dawnstar have suffered. What did I do in Dawnstar? Neither of us is ignorant. I'm trying to. What? You know, the rupture you caused in the pale. The people you indoctrinated into your cult. The supplies you've ravished. The opposition you cut down and... Uh, what? Rest of when did I do that? 
that fabulous trance. Did I do that? You must have a, a different giant board. Yeah, I did that. Listen, you got the wrong guy. There is no use denying it. Where the hell is the I'm pale again? I don't fucking remember. Mountain, <laughs> I might have actually made a culty. Oh, god damn it. How many hired blades are there? Oh, shit. Oh, he's level 40. Oh, fuck. No, he's going to kill my skellies. No. Don't kill my skellies. Don't kill my skellies. They're too young. They've seen so much. Their brother already died today. Okay, you. Slow. Oh, shit. No, god damn it. God, he fucking molly whopped me. <laughs> Shit. Okay. All right. Damn. I accidentally hit a civilian. I think I should be allowed one civilian casualty per day. Just cuz. All right, what is happening? The past seems like a distant memory. I do not know where I am or how I got here. I unfurl my map and plot a course to Solitude, where I last encountered my adversary, Yavni the Noose. Well, shit. When did you start a cult in Dawnstar? I don't know! I don't remember! Oh my god. Now I know why my parents told me not to do drugs. God damn. By blade or by spell. If you want it dead. I'll make it okay, where the- why am I- am I at the Blue Palace? No, I mean- What? What? Why am I in the Bard's College? I just started a cult and got murdered! Why did they put me in the Bard's College? Hi, Stevie. Welcome. This may be the year you acquire the elusive Riz. What say you? Fuck, I hope so. <laughs> Welcome in. Uh, did your college charge fees? Thankfully, no. Patrons from across Tamriel provide. Are the voices too quiet, by the way? Being a bard is a profession that we try to keep open to anyone with passion and talent. Charging fees would make it impossible. Look, hope singer is in there. Yeah, us. I based my um. Yeah, if you haven't watched my new cover yet, uh, exclamation point cover. We'll give you a, a link to it. But I based my version of the Dragonborn sings off of her version. Um, cause I actually grew up listening to, um, uh, Maluka singing, and I really, really, um, I listened to that shit non-stop when I was younger, and it was honestly, like, a big inspiration for why I, like, went into singing as a career, and honestly, as silly as it sounds, you know, is my, yeah, it is working, okay. Um, let's see if we can find her. Uh, but the nice thing about, uh, her is she also, she didn't just post her cover. She posted a tutorial on how she, how she recorded it, how she did the harmonies, and how she mixed it. <laughs> which is honestly, based is all hell. <laughs> so thank you, Maluka. I appreciate you here. I appreciate you so much in letting me make a fucking banger. Because that video of her mixing it. Helps so much. Oh, she... Okay, she seems to be a little busy right now. So, we'll... Well... I'm a big fan! <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll leave... We'll leave her alone. <laughs> we'll leave her alone. Um... Yeah, how do... I guess we're gonna do bard college shit then. Let's, uh, let's find the guy again and see if we can join. Uh, that's a whole ass man. Where'd he go? We were just talking to him and then I got distracted. Oh, so many books I could steal. Oh. Um. No, where'd he go? I guess they want me to become a bard because I'm, I'm fucking here. Hello? Where's your, where's the big guy? The, the headmaster, I guess would be the word? I'm not sure. Maybe that's the word. I was just talking to him, and then he fucking disappeared. Okay, there's the blonde lady. Maybe we'll go upstairs? I haven't been to the bar college in fucking forever. So, like... I don't think I've ever genuinely done bar college stuff. Like, actually. I mean, maybe when I was younger, but, like... Never on stream, I don't think. Just because I was always under the impression for some reason. And, of course, mods have probably changed this. So I was under the impression that Bard College didn't have a whole lot for you to do. You know what I mean? Uh, nice that there's an alchemy and enchanting, disenchanting thing. Do I have anything to disenchant? It's only one major quest and a few miscellaneous tasks. Oh, okay. Here, we'll disenchant that real quick. Uh, talk to Maluka first, I believe. Really? Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, who are you? Hmm? What brings you here? 
to the Bard's College? Why, the performances, of course. I'm a bit of a culture aficionado. I enjoy anything involving art and culture. And there is no better place to find it in Skyrim than here in Solitude. Oh. I even hear that the museum is reopening. It is! It should be. I, I help with that. You should go. It's really cool. You should go to the museum. It's actually the most coolest base place on the whole planet. Okay? Go to the museum. Or else I will find you. <laughs> Where are the stairs here? Let's go back downstairs and see if I'm missing something. Uh, what's the lure of this character? I read David in 2024 yet. David, can you say hi? No one's heard you in this year yet. He said no. I'm sorry. <laughs> so basically, the lure of this character. Wait, what? Did they take my clothes? Where did my clothes go? My dress. They took my clothes. But my outfit was so fresh. It was so cute. She had the best fucking fit. God, they stole my drip. Give it back! This is so fucked up. They stole my gloves, too. This is... I'm so mad. <laughs> they stole my drip. Fine. I guess I'll just have to be... Hot, I guess. I didn't want it. Ugh. So, the lore with this character, basically. TLDR. We're going for the blood mage, like, noble, noble, gifted, um, magic user, princess lady, goes down a dark path while searching for unlimited knowledge. So, this character is going to be Hello. our, um... I'm a bard. Train right here at the Bard's College. She's going to be our everything today. character, um, our legacy of the Dragonborn character, because her morals collection. are very kind of flexible, you know? Oh, yeah, I'm interested in joining. We're always happy to have an aspiring bard enter our halls. If you want to become a bard, you have come to the right place. Yay! We house one of the best art collections in Skyrim here. We have an excellent library, and our students can often be heard practicing. However, we accept only a few applicants each year. What? So I need to know that you have some talent with speech before I can offer you But if you speech. want to know more about the lore of this character, by the way, I'm writing a book about her. <laughs> <laughs> and you can write exclamation point book if you want to read it. You certainly speak but well yes, I am writing story. a fantasy novel with Very all my well. Skyrim OCs set, set in my own world. <laughs> but she is our legacy character, TLDR, blood mage that wants to uh, learn everything. Hi, Zaku! Oral exams on several subjects, attend classes, and prove your proficiency with the drum, flute, and lute. I can do that. Are you sure that you want to join the college? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure I want to become a bard. Then I am happy to accept you. Yay! You are now a student of the Bard's College. We have classes every day that you should attend. Here is a copy of the timetable for you to review. Now that you're a student, you have a dorm room here at the college. Your room will be the first one on the right in the dormitory. Yeah, I don't think I've ever dead-ass done this before. History. In order to complete this course, you will need to review the history of Skyrim primers. Here is a set for you. Oh, boy. If you feel ready to take the oral exam, please come and see me. Oh, she's going to test me? Oh, fuck. History of Skyrim 1, History of Skyrim 2. His I, I got a schedule? Wait, I didn't think this was going to be like real college. I thought this was going to be like College of Winterhold. I have to study? I have to read? Oh, this is fucked up. Okay. All right. Ugh, fuck. Okay. Um, well, let's see. What's my schedule? Morning, 4 a.m.? Bro, I was a music major. We were not, pra well, practice didn't start at 4 a.m. It ended at 4 a.m. sometimes, but we didn't, we didn't, we didn't start at 4 a.m. Uh, 8 a.m., song practice in the verse class. Okay, 8 a.m. classes are pretty standard for music majors. Um, 2 p.m. history research and review in the whole library. 6 p.m. self-study, 8 p.m. rest period. Um, okay, so as a former music major, this is not accurate to music majors right now. One, because there's only one, two, three, four, five classes, okay? We usually had... How many classes did I have? Yeah, this is all they got. Yeah, we had... Usually I was taking... Oh, God. What was my, um, my course load? It was, I think, first semester, 
Theory one, music perception, performance class, my private lesson, um, two gen eds. There's another class I have to take too. My music tech class. I think my first, there's one I'm forgetting, but I can't remember what it is. Yeah, I think usually most of my semesters were like seven to 10 classes <laughs> as a music ed major. It was crazy. Got the sheet, cheat sheet, please. <laughs> I'm stupid. Give me the Quizlet, bro. I'm gonna cheat my way into Bard. I have a music degree. I can cheat my way into Bard's college. Let's fucking go. Mm. I don't need to read this shit. Oh, am I? Oh, can you post it in Discord? Because I think um, uh, I have it set so people can't post uh, links in the Twitch chat just because like bots and shit. But let's see. If you can post it in the Discord, that would be that would be cool. But let's see if I can do it though. I'm gonna just raw dog it. I might be able to just raw dog it. Who knows? Okay, I might be able to just. Cause I'm so cool and fun and sexy. I might be able to just figure it out. All right, I'm ready. Good to see you. I'm ready. I'm glad to hear that. I warn you, in order to pass, you must answer all of the questions correctly. Oh boy. Bards are keepers of history, and it's important 100%. that we have okay. a good understanding of it. Are you sure that you're ready? What happens if I fail? Wait, let, let me see. Let me see. You underestimate me, autism. Ah, let, let me let me just uh. Take a look at this real quick. Just uh, take a take a look at that. <laughs> Put that on my other monitor. If you fail, you can just repeat it. Okay. Uh, oh god, yeah. I'm looking at this. I don't know any of these fucking answers. <laughs> I I feel like if I had played like Oblivion and Morrowind, maybe I'd have a better shot. I have not played Oblivion Very and well. Morrowind. We'll do the test when you're ready. Okay, I'm not ready yet. All right. Okay, just kidding. I'm ready now. I'm ready. I'm glad to hear that. I warn you, in order to pass, you must answer all of the I'm questions ready. correctly. Bards are keepers of history, and it's important that we have a good understanding of it. Are you sure that you're ready? Uh, yes. Very well. First question. Who was the leader of the Atmoran expedition to Skyrim? Uh, yes, Grimmar. Correct. Next question. Who was the leader of the Snow Elves during the Nordic Palmer War? The Snow Prince, not the Snow King. The Snow Prince. Correct. Next Almost question. got me there. <laughs> the King of Skyrim relinquished all holdings in Admora, proclaiming the people of Skyrim as independent. Harold! <laughs> Correct. Next question. Which claimant to the throne of Skyrim did the Crown of Verity reject? Uh, as my as an icebreaker. Correct. Next question. What event led to the founding of the Evenheart Pact? That one I kind of remember. That one I kind of knew. The second Akaviri Mage. Correct. Last question. What happened during the Red Year to give it that name? Red Mountain! Very well done. Yay! Your history examination. The next course is song lyrics. You need to listen to bards play traditional songs to learn the words. You should also review Songs of Skyrim. A book about traditional songs that you can find in the library. When you feel ready to take the oral exam, please come and see me. Okay, I'm ready. To <laughs> I totally you. don't have something on my other monitor to tell you. Yeah, why are all the exam? No, that makes sense. That's a dumb question. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm glad to hear that. I warn you that in order to pass, you must answer all of the questions correctly. Songs are a cornerstone of being a bard, and it that is makes important sense. that you are familiar with the most popular songs of Skyrim. Are you sure that you are ready? I'm ready. Okay. Very well. First question. Where was Ragnar the Red writing to in the song Ragnar the Red? Ragnar who came from Orkstead. He was going from Orkstead. He was heading to White Run. Correct. Next question. What is like, the name of from the shield Roar Extent, in not the song, Ragnar the Red? Uh, Matilda, that one I know. Correct. From the show Made in Matilda, question. who said... Which song offers an archetype of what lords should be? The Dragonborn Comes. Correct. Next I question. know that one. True or false? The opening lyric of the Dragonborn our Comes hero, is... Our hero, our hero... Our hero, our hero... Something... The ancient I know it's not that one. I did ask just saying this and mixed it. I don't remember <laughs> Hero, our hero. It's not true though. It's what's our hero, our hero claim? Isn't it claims a warrior's heart? Correct. Next question. I'm not sure. 
<laughs> but I know I saw that one. <laughs> okay, I was right. I'm not insane. Uh, the Age of Aggression is the Empire, right? Yeah. That one I know. An Age of Oppression is the Stormcloaks. The Age of Aggression and the Age of Oppression feature the lyric, and when Sovereign Guard beckons, but every one of us end? dies. Correct. Well By the way, if well you guys done. would like well, me to cover more of the Skyrim Bard songs, let me know and let me know which ones you'd like me to cover. Because um, I really had a lot of fun covering um, the Dragonborn Comes, and it's not a style I sing in a whole lot. Um, it's kind of like a blend of like, like it's not quite classical, but it's not quite pop or rock. It's kind of like, it, it's interesting, you know, that kind of style of singing I don't really do a whole lot. Uh, but I want to get better at it, and I want to do it more. Uh, I could not recognize you. I have a lot of people tell me that my singing voice and my talking voice are very, very different. So that does not surprise me. Bard yeah, I want to do bardcore covers of other songs too. Welcome in, Paladin. Um, I'm glad to hear that. But if you have any other Skyrim songs you want me to cover, let me know and I'll do it because I want to cover more of them. It's just kind of like which one do I do first? You know, the gremlin was not in there. Believe it or not, I I'm not lying when I say I have a music degree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me alt tab so I can scroll down in my little quizlet. Thank you, Nexus Mods. Okay. Um. Oh, some of these are like basic. What kind of instrument is a flute? Woodwind. That's like fifth grade. <laughs> that one I know. Okay, are we just taking tests today? Damn, I guess we're. I guess we're just taking tests. All right. We can do that. All right. Let's see. I had to tab back in so I could scroll. All right, I'm ready. Very well. First question. What is the name of the Orsimer drum on display at the Bard's College? King Fender! Next question. Which instrument is said to have been swindled from Shigarath by Colossios? Shigarath? That's not... It's Shayagorath, right? Shigarath? Is that... A... That's not... Is this a Berenstein Baron... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. Are you it's serious? Been, throughout all of Morrowind, it's incredibly inconsistent. You can tell who wrote the quest based on how they do it. That's so funny. How about you don't read the answers and guess out loud before reading the answer? Okay, we'll do that. Um, I already forgot the question, so we're going to say this one. Chime of the Enders. Read. Lodestone. Okay, I was wrong. Correct. Next question. Which instrument was the creation of the Khajiit Bard I Fancy? I fancy. Um, oh, hi, William. I am back. I'm not going anywhere this time, I promise. I quit the job that was causing me all the stress, so I'm back to streaming three times a week. But welcome in, gamer. I'm taking a test to be a bard. I would say probably this one because it said Khajiit, but it says the 20-string harp lute. So we're going with that Good. one. Next question. What culture does the harp lily tongue originate from? Um... Honestly, I, I would. It is Aldemary. I would guess Aldemary for that one. Correct. Next question. What purpose did the drum Sky Talker serve? Um, I would guess communicate with the gods, but it's not that one. Correct. Final question. Which historic bard originally... I would not know this one. They're going to give me like three long. names. I'm not going to know fucking... Yeah, I don't know any of these people. <laughs> we'll go with this one. Well done. I'm glad to see that you paid attention. There's so to many tests. Here. Maybe someday one of your instruments will be on display here. God. To start your instrument All right, training. instrument training time. Give me that drum. Here is a set of drum books you need to study. Drum to books. The exam. After you pass the exam, oh my you God. will start practicing the drum. You mean I can't you just start start exam. swinging? Please come and see me. Oh my God. <laughs> Volume one, construction. Volume two, care. Volume three. Oh my god. I can't. Okay, give me that drum. Give me that drum. Where is it? Drum, drum. Where's the drum? Where's the, here? Just all. Does she not give me a drum? I have to read about drum before I. Listen, I don't. As a music educator, okay, I don't want to be a hater. Just give me the fucking drum. I don't know what kind of curriculum this is where I have to read about the instrument before I play it, but just, just give me the fucking drum. She didn't even give me the drum. I have to buy it? Oh, it's like real college. Oh, side note, by the way, um, we're taking a screenshot right here because the shadow is so fucking good here. Like, side note, like, just like this shadow by itself. I don't know about it. 
This shit goes hard, okay? That that went hard. I'm a beat <laughs> boxing blueberry. This is a local favorite and yeah, you pop off. Actually, do you have drums for sale? The Bard's College at your service. Hey, bud. Um. Hmm. Glad I, could help. I guess we're gonna have to buy a drum, and I guess we're gonna have to study. Well, I didn't think we were gonna become a bard, and I didn't think I'd get my fucking clothes stolen. I'm. This is not the look I want for Miss Vanya. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. We might we might give her an updated look, um, next stream. But I do think we are gonna we are gonna call it here, um, just because I think this is a this is a good place to stop. So I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna have to study up on my drumming and shit. Um, but gamers, thank you again so much for hanging out with me today, um, for coming back, for watching my cover. If you listen to my cover, I really appreciate that. If you'd like to listen to it, feel free. Um, every stream is a new experience. I gotta keep you hooked, okay? I gotta I gotta end on a cliffhanger, right? So next time. We will be um, exploring the Bards College, taking the rest of our tests. Uh, there are my social links, my community Discord, um, as well as the link to my new cover and the link to my fantasy novel featuring Miss Vanya, our love, who is very inappropriately dressed right now. But we'll fix that. Uh, I will also be uploading the VOD to YouTube as well. But thank you, gamers. Let's figure out who we're gonna who we're gonna raid. But this was a fun one. I'm really glad to be back. Let me turn off my uh, my thingy that makes me that follows the game here turn that off there we go now i'm normal again look how bright i am <laughs> okay let's go to, to this screen there we go all right ha, ba, 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 ba. who is online right now who can i annoy <laughs> is anyone online where i can be silly because sometimes i raid people and i don't know them super well like i like like we're mutuals on twitter on uh, twitter on twitter or they're like students of mine so i want to be like normal but i kind of want to be stupid here, we'll raid you, May, so then I can be stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to think of sexual with you. I know it's using Middle Eastern food. That's very specific, but good luck on your quest for that. BT, you, May. See, that's the thing is like, oh, I don't have a, I don't have a slutty, slutty raid theme this time. I guess we'll just do bard raid. Yeah, we'll do bard raid. Let's do bard raid. That sounds good. All right. Wait, what? Oh, wait, fuck. Wrong button. Raid. Bing, 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 bong. And then our raid message is going to be... Bard raid. Feel free to spam all the EB motes. EB EB motes. EB emotes. EB motes. Wait. Gas I didn't even mean to do that intentionally. And that kind of goes hard. So turtle, thank you so much for the follow. Unfortunately, we're about to wrap up, but thank you for following, and I hope you have a good night. But yes, gamers, I will be back. Oh wait, I have my my picture. Where's my picture? My picture. I was ready. That's the that's the wrong picture. That's me as Jeff Bezos. <laughs> ignore ignore that one. <laughs> I don't know if I if I have it still, but that's a is it this one? No, that's me. That's okay. Whatever. That's okay. But I will be back on Wednesday streaming some cyberpunk. My new cover. I have a bonus cover coming out tomorrow. New book chapter on Thursday, and then we'll also be streaming on Friday. We're gonna be doing um kid picks. It'll be very. We'll be we'll be playing around <laughs> in a art software from the 90s. It'll be very fun. All right. Good night, gamers, and have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye-bye.